Good evening, y'all. Ryan here, trying to do another video. Cook me some supper tonight. I have no idea what I'm cooking. My mother-in-law dropped off some fresh vegetables. We got some squash, some red potatoes, some jalapenos, and tomatoes. Now, I've already chopped some up. I got about uh, two squash, maybe three potatoes, one tomato, and two jalapenos. Uh, chopped up and diced and I also diced up an onion and I got some ground venison pound of ground venison you could use ground beef for this if it turns out good I'll let you know we'll be honest but I'm gonna go with the flow I'm just gonna uh, start off with my onions add my uh, meat and then uh, go from there and uh, just be creative with it should be fun just because I'm using venison which does not have a whole lot of fat to it I'm gonna add some butter first and foremost and now I'm adding one whole white onion diced up chopped up and I'm just gonna kind of saute it for just a few minutes get this onion chopped up and it's jumping around like Mexican jumping beans huh out of all the times I've cooked onion, I don't know that I've ever seen them jump like that. I don't know if it's just a white onion or if I just got them too hot or what. But I'm just going to get them a little, just a little soft. And then I'll add my, my beef into it and ground it up. So it's been a few minutes. I got my onion where I want it. And I decided instead of my meat, I'm going to add my jalapenos. I got two small to medium sized jalapenos in here that I uh, deveined and washed, cored and deveined, or seeded and deveined, however you want to say it, and washed them out just because my family and my girls think I cook way too hot, so I'm trying to be respectful to them. So I'll get that in there. And then pretty quick, I'm not going to let this go too much longer. I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. And this is just uh, a deer that I shot earlier this year, or late last year. However you want to say it, last deer season. And I'm going to go ahead and just grind it up. Get it nice and brown. And when I'm done with that... Uh, We'll start adding some other things in. I have no idea other than the vegetables. I really don't even know what else I'm adding. Maybe nothing. We'll just have to see what it looks like. But I'll grind this up and go from there. Okay, I've got, uh, I didn't tell you all this earlier. I've got my heat set on about a medium high. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning here. I got just some black pepper which I almost find you can never get enough of and this is just number 32 mesh black pepper I like the Fiesta maybe just a Texas thing but uh, any ground table pepper black pepper will work that's all I'm gonna put in there I'm gonna add some salt and some garlic powder also just get it all stirred up but I didn't prepare my seasoning so I gotta search them out A little garlic powder and then this I'm using some uh, sea salt that's uh, Morton sea salt and it says fine so I'll get it all stirred up my meat's pretty well done it's a uh, it said because it's venison it's not going to take near as long as beef it's very 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 lean so it's already between the spices and the onions and the peppers it's smelling really really good but now I've got to add to it all right y'all I'm uh, a big squash fan but I don't know much about cooking it I've never really cooked it uh, this is kind of hard, 
So I'm just going to throw it in there. We're going to see what happens. Again, if I mess up, then tough for me. And I'm going to throw my potatoes in at the same time. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more season, but I'm going to get it all stirred up and just kind of see what it looks like. Looks like I picked the wrong size pan for this. But this is a lot of food here, too. I did way too many vegetables. I probably could have done with just one squash and uh, with everything else I got. You know, probably could have done half an onion in hindsight. And I like the potato quantity, but with everything else, I, you know, could have done with maybe two potatoes instead of three. So, um,. It's kind of hard to saute these with it being so full. Every time I start making little casserole dishes like this, I always uh, jambalize or whatever. Make sure that you're scraping the bottom of your pan. Don't let anything get stuck there. When you do have anything that sticks a little bit, it's okay. Um, and I like to stir kind of fast, but I'm going slow just because uh, I got so much in there and I'm trying to get it all stirred up good and I'm not doing a very good job. So it smells outstanding. But I'm thinking I need to get this squash cooked a little bit. These are red potatoes, so they're already pretty soft. I'm not too worried about them. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know much about this squash. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tomato flavor. I've already got tomatoes going in here, so I'm going to add some tomato stuff. Once again, don't know exactly what I'm making. I'm just going by the seat of my pants, but I'm adding tomato paste. I don't know why. It sounded good, but uh, I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste. And I'm going to add one can of water with this tomato paste. I hate tomato paste. It's always a pain in the butt getting out. If y'all hear that knocking in the background, that is my dog being a, a, a whiny butthole. She's begging to be fed. My children have not fed her yet today. And this is a six ounce jar of tomato paste. So good there. I am going to get some water in this. Alright, so I got the water. I'm going to kind of stir up, try to stir up whatever's left in here to break up all these chunks. And then before I add my, well, no, I'm going to add my sauce right now. And I may add some more water to that to give it more fluid and clean out my jar. But first, let me kind of stir this up and get that nice and coated and tomatoey. Like I said, I got my my diced tomatoes, my fresh diced tomatoes here, but and I think they'd be good in here, but I'm not quite ready to put those in yet. I don't think those need to go in till last. I want to get this tomato paste broken up. I want to get this squash cooked and get these potatoes cooked a little more, and then we'll be good to go. So now would probably be a good time for me to turn my heat down. I'm still cooking on about a medium high and it's probably going to be good for me to turn it down and just let this thing simmer for a little bit. And uh, man, the more I keep smelling this and thinking, and I mentioned jambalaya earlier, I'm probably getting ready to throw some Cajun seasoning in here. And uh, we're just going to do like a Cajun something, whatever this is, tomato-y, Cajun-y, meat, potatoes, veggies. This looks like a uh, hearty, a very hearty uh, tomato s or spaghetti sauce with squash is what it looks like right now. It smells delicious. I'm hoping it smell or tastes as good as it smells. So I forgot to tell y'all, but that tomato sauce, I did add another, I cleaned it out with water too, and added that can of water to the pan. 
and I'm just stirring it all up. You got some starting to stick a little bit. It's okay. Like I said, just scrape it off that stickiness, at least in jambalayas and any kind of rice stuff I do, that stickiness really adds to the flavor of the stuff. And looking at it, I might be able to add, I am going to turn my heat down to kind of a medium low, low medium, whichever one you want to say first. I'm going to put, just let this simmer and uh, let it go like that for probably five or ten minutes just watching it. I may add some more fluid in there, but man, that's, I might have to cook some rice to put this on top of rice. I hate doing that. I've already got potatoes, but man, this is, I don't know what else to do with this. Looks good, smells good, but what? <laughs> I don't know how to eat it now. All right, so it's been cooking now for about three minutes. I'm gonna add a little Cajun seasoning. Or a lot of Cajun seasoning. And I'm just gonna let this simmer down. I'm thinking with my squash, I see a couple of them starting to fold over and and break down and I'm thinking they might be good once it's they really break down this thing may really turn out to be something and I think I am gonna cook some rice it kind of sounds weird but I think if I serve it over rice this might actually be something so uh, and I am gonna add a little bit more fluid add my fresh tomatoes in here Go ahead and let them start stewing down. And I guess this is going to be kind of like a... I don't know, this might be my version of a... Very, very different, non-traditional... Sauce piquant or... Etouffee. You know, something along those lines. It's not how I would normally cook either one of these meals, but... Uh, that's how I'm thinking of eating it right now is over some rice. You could probably put this in a tortilla also, but or I'm sorry, that's how I say it in my household. You could probably put this inside a tortilla, but um, you know, I was, I guess just different flavor profile and I'm thinking rice. Sometimes I, I think that I was either born across the border in Louisiana or across the border down south in New Mexico but uh, and I'm gonna add I think I am gonna add like another sauce can worth of fluid the tomato sauce I used was eight ounces the tomato paste I used was six ounces so I think I'm gonna throw a little more fluid in there and let this stuff cook down and simmer I'm guessing some of the squash is done but I'm guessing all in all probably simmer about 10 or 15 minutes just simmering and uh, we should be good to go all right y'all so I decided to do a pasta instead of rice mainly because when I opened the cabinet I saw it first I've never even heard of this pasta uh, Lucio Garofalo La Pasta di Gragnano Elisi Dali, Elisi, whatever that says. It's a macaroni product. Macaroni product. So looks like it's going to be good. I'm I'm stirring it with a spoon. I'm going to get a taste test real quick. And uh, we'll see how it is. You know that's that's tasty. I'm not gonna lie, that might have might actually have a little kick to it. It's lacking something. I don't know what it's lacking. Maybe some garlic. I might put some more garlic powder in here. The wife and kids may not like that, but I'm not gonna tell them. We're gonna see what they say when we have a blind tasting later. I said, I th man, I think this will be good. I mean, like I said, I think I'd eat this as a spaghetti sauce right now. I mean, it's definitely missing something, but uh, I can't tell what it is. Maybe garlic. 
and I don't know that it's really spicy, but maybe it's just the, I don't know. I might have to go back in for seconds, but I need a clean spoon. So you might be able to tell I added a, a little bit more fluid. I just added some uh, water. I also added just a, a little bit more garlic. Added the water because uh, I noticed these potatoes aren't cooking. I do potatoes like this on the stove all the time. And I usually have no problem with them cooking pretty quick. And I assumed that adding the fluid with them, they'd actually cook faster. And red potatoes, in my opinion, typically cook faster. But these are still very hard. So, uh, not very hard, but they're still, you know, to me, like 10 minutes out from being done at, at a minimum. But it's all right. I decided to do this pasta, so um, I added to it. My squash looks to be all cooked down for the most part anyway. Some of them are still probably a little stiff, but it's my potatoes. So I added a little more fluid just to let everything kind of die down. And Man, I hope everybody likes this. Hope I like it. Hey, so I don't know if you can tell, but I did add a little bit more water. I think my potatoes are drawing in more moisture than I anticipated. It's not the normal way I cook potatoes. And so I guess I was assuming they'd be more like rice and I can quick cook them. And I do this for breakfast. You know, I dice them up real small, but for some reason. I'm having a hard time. They're just like rice. They're pulling in moisture, but they needed more of it to get done. And so I add a little bit more water, and now I'm. I think we're almost there. I'm getting ready to take another taste test and uh, call it good. My pasta's done. The squash is broke down. Everything looks good. Smells good. And. If it's good, we're going to eat it. If it's not, we'll, uh, we'll try to eat it or throw it away. So, hope it's good. Sure does look good. Well, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Alright y'all, here it is. I got my pasta mixed into the bowl. Got most of the family here. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna pray and see what's what it is. Let's bow. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. Thank you for our family, Lord, and I ask that uh, you were cooking through me, Lord, and this is actually pretty good. Father, we love you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go around. I saw Stacy take a bite first. I'm starving. So she's starving. She said. So what do you think? Is it good, bad, ugly? It's good. It's got a little back burn. Little back burn. But it's good. It's spicy, but it's good. Spicy, but good. It's good. It's good, not spicy. It's a little spicy. A little spicy. Well, there you have it. Doesn't look like much, but it is what it is. A little pasta, a little something. We'll see what happens. <laughs>